today is January 9th, 2023, Monday. I'm saying happy birthday to my grandfather, but I'm also walking a new walk in God. And I was watching a ser a service by um, Pastor Mike Todd, and they started singing a song. And I just felt it in my spirit that I just wanted to sing this song. A lot of times, I don't like to be in the front. I like to be a worker in the background. I know that God is moving me to do something different. I don't want to be seen. It's not my desire to be seen. I love to help. And before I moved, I was at a different church and I was seeing solos and things. And then I moved down to Indianapolis and I stopped singing because God um, allowed me to be part of this amazing dance ministry um, and to be nurtured um, under a sisterhood that I still have these sisters um, in Christ now. Um, but at that time, it was... Uh, not singing to be part of dance and now I'm back and it's so weird that I had started I didn't realize it not singing being part of the choir how much I missed it but also singing God's praise like I didn't do it as much on my own I sang but not get singing for God, uh, my voice giving him praise. It was a choir voice, uh, uh, but my voice giving him praise in my own time, in my home. And I didn't realize that he still desired that. I didn't realize. And also, when I started singing again and when I started um I started teaching and talking and you use your voice in a different way. And it's like one of those if you don't use it, you lose it. I don't want to lose that gift for God. I want God to get the glory out of my singing. Um uh, because I want to give him praise in every facet of every opportunity I have in my being with dance with singing with writing with blinking my eyeballs with giving somebody a smile uh, or hug I want to give God glory and praise so I am hoarse right now but that's not going to stop me from giving God glory Um, as I noticed like with COVID I, that was the first time I ever had laryngitis. I couldn't talk. And it was a brokenness and not being able to sing. Sing it through my hoarseness. Like wanting to give God glory, but I couldn't. So now that my voice is kind of back, I, I don't want to stop. I don't want to give the opportunity where it can be taken, that that gift, that precious gift can be taken away from, because I don't use it to magnify God. So the song is I'm available to you, um, Milton Brunson and the Thompson Community Singers. And I pray that whoever hears this, hears my heart. Not songs, not notes my heart and that God uses this to bless you so that you can be available to him because uh, I am making myself available to him it is not easy or comfortable for me to put myself out there in any way shape or form but for his glory
You gave me my hands to reach out to man, to show him your love and your perfect plan. You gave me my ears. I can hear your voice so clear. I can hear the cry of sinners, but can I wipe away their tears? You gave me my voice to speak your word, to sing all your praises to those who never heard but with my eyes i see a need for more availability i've seen hearts that have been broken so many people to be free Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you now I'm giving back to you all the tools you gave to me my hands, my ears, my voice, my eyes, so you can use them as you please. I have emptied out my cup so that you can fill me up. Now I'm free. I just want to be more available to you. Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you my storage is empty and I am available Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way. And enable me to say My storage is empty And I am available to you 
My storage is empty And I am available to you For your glory, Lord.